Antifa and the Chaz Chop Zone, tell me about this. You were on the ground with these freaks. I mean, what was that even like? It was surreal. Uh, it, it, you know, you're surrounded by chaos and violence. And then I look on Twitter at the time. I watch some coverage nationally of what was happening. And I was being told everything that I was witnessing and reporting on wasn't actually happening. That the violence that was very clearly occurring was not that big of a deal. Really, this was just a street fair. And of course, we had our mayor famously uh, point out on CNN that it's going to be the summer of love. And of course, it was not the summer of love. We saw the murder of black teenagers at an actual insurrection-led group of, of folks taking over six city blocks, all in the name of Black Lives Matter, being okay with the murder of black children in their zone. It never made any oh. sense. And it was so clear that this is where we were going. Early on, it wasn't just about fighting. There was an attempted rape of a deaf woman who was living in one of the tents in the zone. We had arsonists there. Someone tried to actually burn down a building. And I talked to one of the managers of that shop who was lucky that he arrived in time to stop the place from burning down. We saw all of this happening. And clearly it was escalating. And I was going on at the time I was on with Tucker and I was talking about this. And I would get tweets from people saying, I'm just making it up. Oh, this is just Fox News fear mongering. It's not happening. I'm like, dude, I've got video. I'm literally showing you exactly what's going on, only to be told that I'm just making it up. And we're still hearing that. Not even just about Chop and Chaz, but just generally what's going on in these cities. We're being told that what's actually happening isn't happening. And I think people create these little echo chambers that they live in. And they never escape, particularly when we're talking about these large Democrat-run cities, where they're just surrounded by people who think exactly the same way they do, and they're back there amplifying the same messages, and they start to believe themselves. They start to believe what is effectively a lie. And I think CHOP or Chaz, whatever we want to call it, was a perfect example of how far things can go if it's driven by ideology, if it's driven by dangerous and violent activism, and we allow it. 